Hi students. This is what it's like to have a seventh grade son at home who okay. eats chips on his bed. Excuse me? And uh, has a messy room. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I just got kicked out of there. So I guess we will shoot this video from the chicken coop. Ooh. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, weren't you? Okay. Once again, I waited a little too late to uh, shoot my video. So I'm going to do it out here where it's uh, quiet. And we're going to go wake up these birds. And I have bad news. The bad news is that I forgot to videotape hypnotizing these chickens. So, um, I may have to do that later this week. Wake up, girls. Wake up, it's morning. Okay, just kidding, it's not morning. Alright, we're back in the chicken coop where I do all my best teaching in 2020. Uh, I really don't have much to say to you or explain other than the fact that for the lesson for Tuesday, uh, November, whatever it is, what would that be, 16th maybe? Anyway, for Tuesday, it is, uh, your lesson for today is to work on the new mind benders that I have put up. Now, I had two of them that I had put up. I think they were called Lambda 5 and Lambda 10. And Lambda 5 and Lambda 10 had been done incorrectly. I had the answers wrong in there. So some of you may have tried those and gotten frustrated and given up. I apologize for that. I misunderstood how it was ask, asking me to enter the answers. I have fixed that. They are now ready to go. They are for a grade. In addition to that, I've added uh, a difficult mind bender. And I want you guys to try it, work on it. I am going to eventually grade it. And you may want to use your own paper and copy down uh, a grid and work it out yourself. And above, and, uh, above all, I want to remind you that I shot that video explaining how to do these mind meters back in August. You may or may not remember that video. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to repost that video in the November mind bender folder. But... Um, you, if you need help or a reminder on how to solve the difficult mind minters, watch that video. If you just want to try it on your own, you may be able to solve it on your own. It's, it's a hard one, but it's not like the hardest one ever. You guys may be able to work it out on your own. So um, message me with any questions. And of course, I'm going to see you on Wednesday. Uh, so we can talk it out a little bit then. Um, we're actually going to... Um, uh, hopefully do a science experiment on Wednesday. So, you all right there? She fell. There she is. You see how she's puffing up? Look at her. See how she's acting? See how she's fluffing her, uh, her wings out and she's getting all attitude with me? There's a reason for this. Get out of the way, Marie. No, get out of the way. Look at her. So this is Heather Feather. And she's acting like a big old bull. Like a jerk. See, she's all puffed up. She's got her wings sticking out. And she makes like little low grunting noises at me. The reason she, there's a reason she's doing that. Um, actually, it takes a long time to explain, but basically, she's trying to hatch eggs, and she, so she doesn't want me messing with her at all. She doesn't want me touching her, messing with her, or anything like that. So she kind of cops an attitude with me. You notice these other girls; they really don't mind. Like I can pet them, and and they don't really. See, this is Heather Chungus. This is Heather Sweet. She's the sweet one. They're all good, but but look at Heather Feather. She's got the attitude. See the attitude problems? You need to get, get an attitude adjustment, girl. So anyway, um, yeah, she's. it's called going broody when chickens do that. They go broody, which means that they uh, are trying to hatch eggs. So she just doesn't want to be touched. She doesn't want to be bothered. She doesn't want anybody doing anything to her. She doesn't even eat all that much. So, yeah, she's she's saying bad things to me right now. In fact, she's pointing her butt at me, so I, don't, I better get out of here. So, all right, 
I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're doing well in our time apart from each other. See you soon.